Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, we will talk about enable SSL on Grafana server. But before we start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Grafana SSL and its use cases. So as you can see on the Grafana documentation, how to set up Grafana HTTPS for secure web traffic. When accessing the Grafana UI through the web, it is important to set up HTTPS to ensure the communication between Grafana and the end user is encrypted, including login credentials and retrieved metric data. In order to ensure secure traffic over the internet, Grafana must have a key for encryption and secure socket layer, which is known as SSL certificate, to verify the identity of the site. By default, SSL is not installed in the free self-hosted community edition of Grafana. So here what we are going to do here we are going to learn how to setting up self-signed SSL certificate in Grafana and by following some instructions you can enhance the security of your Grafana server making it accessible via secure connection or HTTPS rather than HTTP. So all steps are clearly mentioned here you can go uh, for documentation grafana.com slash doc. Let's start the lab session and we'll, I am going to demonstrate how you can set up Grafana SSL. So I am back on my Linux VM. Here you can see this is my VMware workstation and currently I have one Linux virtual machine where I have already installed Grafana without SSL. So let me show you the OS release version, the IP address of the base machine and Grafana service status. So if I go with cat etc release, you can see currently I am using RHEL 9.4 and if I talk about the IP address ENS160, this is my internet uh, internet face that is 192.168.116.149 and if I check about the system CTL status Grafana, so currently you can say it is active and running, right? So let's try to hit this IP address on, uh, on web portal and try to access on port number 300 so you can see I can access right so if you don't know how to install Grafana then please go to my Grafana playlist and visit the link Grafana installation and then return here to continue so here you can see I can access my Grafana login console and by default Grafana listen on port number 300 so now let's start with the first step which is Grafana generate Grafana self-signed certificate so to generate self-signed certificate I will use um, open SSL command line tool and follow very simple command. So I am back on here. By default, open SSL is already available in open SSL. So you can see open SSL is a command line tool and it is a cryptographic algorithm toolkit which generate the certificates on based on HTTPS and SSL certification, right? So the command I have mentioned in my notepad, let me copy this one. So create the Grafana SSL certificate. Let's try copy and paste it. So open SSL gen RSA generate RSA output. I need it on grafana.key file uh, it inside etc Grafana and the size of 2048. So this command generate 2048 bit RSA private key which is used to decrypt the traffic secure the traffic right. The moment I press enter it's generated successfully. So if I go back and let me check the file ll here you can see the file is successfully generated and if i try to open that one you can see with git cat it's a private key clear so that is the first thing we have done now move to the next step which is generate csr certificate signing request so in this step we will generate the csr file using the private key from the previous step by using again some following simple command that's a command generate the certificate signing request I'll let me copy it here and paste it. So open SSL, I'm generating a request for new CSR file. I'm using my key which is inside etc grafana grafana.key and the output I want to store inside etc grafana grafana.csr, right? So this command will generate the certificate signing request using private key. When you press enter, you will get prompt you have to give some answers of those questions which might include your fully qualified domain name, email address, country code and others, right? So let's press enter and we'll see. Here's the country name. I'll go with the India, then the state, 
I said New Delhi. Locality, I said South X. Organization name, say XYZ Limited. Okay. Then organization unit name, I said IT. Common name, I'll give the domain name. Here you have to mention your domain name, right? So currently I'll just give my machine name, server one dot example dot com example dot com and email id so i'll give the root at the rate server one dot example dot com and extra attributes i don't require so i just go with the blank press enter done so now my csr file is ready again i can check with the same location dot csr csr here's the file cool now let's move to the next step which is generate self signed certificate so here we will generate the self signed certificate with the private key for a period of validity of 365 days again using the following command the command is this one so let me copy try to paste open ssl x 509 algorithm uh, uh, using a request i'm generating the request for 365 days input of my csr file is this the key file is in the grafana grafana.key and the output etc grafana grafana.crt that's the certification right so the moment i press enter if everything is okay you can see the detail like this certificate request self sign signature is okay and you can find out your country code state locality organization unit and name and email id right so now uh we have successfully generated the self sign certificate now just set the appreciate permissions and change the ownership for the key and the certificate file so i'll set chon command grafana dot i go with etc grafana grafana dot csr and etc grafana grafana dot key okay i change the ownership plus i set the permission ch mode 400 now let's try to check the ownership and permission you can see ownership is changed grafana grafana user ownership and group ownership and the permission is 400 so now you can see ownership and permission is set now move to the next step which is configure the grafana eni ini file so i'll try to open etc grafana grafana dot ini file and let me set the line number first of all okay so we need to modify the grafana.ini file and modify some fields to update grafana about these new changes that we are going to uh, accessing this time grafana using https right so first of all i need to modify the protocol so on 32 number line i enable protocol not http https and then go to the certificate file and key yeah this one 6768 certificate file certificate key right so my file is etc grafana grafana dot csr uh, dot key right this is the key file so let me copy the entire path from here so i go to the key file right click and paste similarly right click and paste but this time certificate certificate is dot crt whatever we have generated right now certificate the certificate i have given and the key file i give the key file location that's sufficient let's save and quit and let's reload the services system ctl restart grafana services let's check the status status yeah cool up and running now now move to the final st step which is access grafana server on https so i'm back on my url let's reload the url and we'll see the changes over there so i reload yeah if everything is okay you should see like this client sent an http request to an https server now we need to open this url on the on the on https not http so i give the path https backslash and colon press enter here you can see yeah here you can see when you navigate the server ip address on https using the web browser you will encounter a warning due to self signed certificate you will always have to accept this from normally once uh, unless you have purchased signed certificate from certificate authority which is csr right so 
let me go to the advance scroll down proceed to unsafe and here yeah here you can see we can access our grafana server on https so click on this not secure go to the view show certificates and here you can find out your certificate details server.example.com organization organization units everything we can get it from there right and if you go with the details you can get the more details in the details part what is the certification and the service serial number certification algorithm who generate the issuers everything i can get it from there so guys this is how what we can do this is how we can enable ssl on grafana clear so i hope uh, you understand very well that's all about this demo hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out to my social media links which is mentioned in the description and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye